As you heard, my name is Chuck Suchar. I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and it is my uh, distinct pleasure uh, and honor uh, to welcome all of you to this wonderful occasion of uh, the inauguration of our Ida B. Wells Barnett University Professor uh, for 2010-2011, uh, Haki Majibuti. Words are the lifeblood of writers, though I must admit, I don't know if we dream in words or if we word our dreams. Words are like quilts. You, you put together a bunch to make something warm and comforting or patch something together that will prick and scratch. No matter how we weave this experience, we sculpt an idea and shape a phrase. But Nikki's family, and she's doing what she's supposed to do. <laughs> uh, she, was, she was given a, a, a day of honor in Philadelphia. I went in for that. We honored her here when I was at Chicago State University. That's what we do. So this is part of her work. And part of her work is to respond to family. And I, I love Nikki, so whatever she does, I'm going to be involved in. And if there's a negative side or something to happen to her, I'll be there. So all she has to do is just call. We are wordsmiths. Haki is an idea man in terms of if you start with a poem to compliment all others or any number, don't cry, scream, any of the old young poems, right? We were having, again, ideas. But he's gone on to build institutions. But the institutions came out of the imagination that the next step is. And so I just wanted to deal with, because yes is the only one word phrase in the world. If you say no, you have to say something else. And I just wanted to deal with, he's a master wordsmith because he used his words for an institution. His words became bricks. But they were not bricks that we threw, they were bricks that we built. And I just wanted to acknowledge that. We vetted approximately 40, 50 candidates for the Ida B. Wells Barnett University professorship. And one thing that stood out uh, amongst, uh, uh, with Professor Mabute was the fact that he has been speaking the truth about race for a long time. And when you look at the tradition of an Ida B. Wells, Ida B. Wells was a race woman. And so Professor Mabute is a race man. And so we expect that he will speak truth to power, if you will. And so he represented that fine tradition of, you know, sort of racial integrity in the United States. And so we thought that he was perhaps the best candidate to walk in the role and the wisdom of an Ida B. Wells. I wanted to end my career at a great university, not only in terms of uh, the history of DePaul, in terms of its diversity. And of course, about 10 years ago, I got an honorary doctorate from DePaul. I think it's in keeping with uh, my whole life. Uh, Catholicism has played an important part of my life, even though I'm not Catholic. Uh, at one time, doing my, and I write about this in Yellow Black, I attended two Catholic churches studying catechism. And that's a whole, another whole story. And so I do not find this odd for me to end up at a major Catholic university.